I imagine the red dress we have chosen and asking the coroner if we could be the ones to dress her. It is a still moment between sisters, my mother on a metal table, and a clock swelling to just past three. Carla will cup the back of her head as we lift her. Tanya will be down at her feet, tugging the fabric towards us. I am sure I will be the one zipping it, kissing the nape of her neck at the end. I will blush her flushed cheeks and reach for the red lipstick I have kept inside my purse for special occasions. We will do all of this in silence, whimpering only when it hurts. The men in my family will be at the mouth of my grandmother's church, waiting to carry her in. My grandfather will have come down from above and be at the head of the casket, finally walking his little girl down the aisle. The stained glass will drench the men with blood orange and sky. There will be beautiful lilies at every pew, and those who loved her will wait in line and pour their tender limbs over her. Her cold hands clutching my grandmother's crucifix, a solemn decision Carla will have made. Our cousins will hold what's left of the babes in our family, cooling them in a blanket of sad afternoons. I envy them. I envy their ability to sleep through this and what little they know about the dead and mourning. I will ask the coroner if I could take her to the burial, and I will drive the hearse alone through Ensenada. It will be summer with a blazing red heat, and, I will so and we will stop at the pier that watched my mother grow up. I will open the door and imagine her smiling as the cool breeze of her favorite ocean slips into her coffin. We will drive around until the sun goes down. We will drive around just her and I. We will drive until the, until the moon balloons to just pass perfect for a night like this. And when we arrive late to the cemetery, no one will notice. And when the priest has finished his sermon about sorrow and the undeserving, my lip will curl in anger towards her. And the most absent man in my life will be there with me as they lower her. He will hold my hand and tell me it is happening, that she is done hurting. And for the first time, it will be how she wanted. He has asked her up to heaven, and I will sit and watch as the strongest woman I have ever witnessed leaves this physical world.